The second option is to use the restore with verify only, only when you have the backup checksum enabled. What this means is, again, going back to how I feel about you know, creating a false sense of security, because when you create a database maintenance plan with the verification of the backup, it creates a false sense of security and you start thinking that your backups are actually working and verified. It's really annoying that the term verify is there because again, it creates that false sense of security. And let me show you real quick why that is because the restore with verify only command, so the restore command with verify only keyword only validates that the backup header looks like a backup header. I mean, think about it. It's only checking if a backup looks like a backup. It doesn't actually check whether or not the contents of the backup are valid. And that's why it's important to have the backup checksum enabled for the backup media when you take that so that when you run the restore with verify only, it will actually do the checksum verification because it's enabled on the backup media itself. Let me show you what I mean by that. And let's look at the uh, database maintenance plan again and show you what I mean. You have the verify backup integrity option. It's a checkbox that you probably have checked in the past. And again, it's as easy as checking this. Let's look at the T-SQL command generated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and run it. Let me open up a new query window. Paste that and just look at how this thing looks like. It is going to generate the backup. Skip, rewind, and then restore verify only from disk. And so on and so on. Now understand the test db underscore corrupted database is a corrupted database. For one, I don't have the checksum option anywhere. But I do have the restore verify only command that I typically use to verify whether or not my backups work. Let's run this. See what this thing tells us. Again, you get a green check mark, which means if this was a SQL Server agent job that got created, and again, because it is a database maintenance plan, it will automatically create a SQL Server agent job. You run the job, you think, well, I've taken a backup. I verified the backup. So you go ahead and think, well, the backups actually are verified, and therefore you start assuming that you could use them. But we know for a fact that this particular database is corrupted, and therefore when you restore the database from backup, you get a corrupted database. And that's why it's important to start off with the checksum option, because technically, when you simply rely on the restore with uh, restore verify only command, it feels like it's totally meaningless. As I mentioned, if you're simply using the restore with verify only keyword without a backup checksum, it's totally useless. And you've seen that in the example that I've shown you. We took the backup. It's a corrupted database. We ran restore verify only command against the backup that was generated. And it went ahead and said, query completed successfully. Again, it's not enough for you to use the restore verify only command. You got to start with the backup checksum first so that your restore with verify only will also perform a backup checksum verification, or rather a checksum verification against the backup. 